Hey everyone, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Diana, and today, boy, do I have a video for you. Okay, so if you are on the side of Instagram and TikTok that I'm on that shows you all types of baby toys, toddler toys, baby toddler, everything, then you know which toy that I'm talking about today. So, this toy is by the company Lillian River. No, this is not sponsored, so this is a 100% raw, just my opinion on the toy. So, a little backstory. My husband decided that for Christmas, he was going to buy our daughter, who was 10 months old, the Lillian River playset toy thing. Now, I, I wouldn't call myself cheap, but I would say that I like to see our money stretch so the fact that he was paying close to six hundred dollars for one toy had me raising some questions so before you go out and buy it i'm going to tell you my honest opinion on the toy and if it's something that you should spend your money on or not. so when i head over to the lillian river website the first thing that pops up is that it is forbes number one playset for babies and toddlers so that that's a good thing <laughs> And then you see a bunch of reviews on families saying how much they love this toy and how much it has just helped their child grow developmentally, creatively. And so adding this toy to our family just seemed right for my husband. <laughs> so when it came into the mail, it was mailed to our house and it was mailed in three boxes and they were all very, very heavy. Um, so that one led to me that it is made from quality wood. That's all it is. We didn't get anything that was colored or anything. So we just got the basic wood model. And honestly, it's really, really pretty. I didn't think that just plain wood would be as pretty as it is. It's very pretty. So I mean, later if we wanted to paint it, I'm sure that we could, but I don't see us doing that just because of how pretty it is. So besides how pretty it is, let's talk about functionality. It was not difficult at all to put it together. I didn't put it together. My husband Kwame put it together, but it took him less than 15 minutes to put the whole thing together. So that is a plus. Now, like I said earlier, my daughter is 10 months old. So when we initially put her on it, she screamed. She did not like it at all. She screamed her little head off. And I think it's mainly because it's something new. And though she is such a climbing baby and she likes to play on everything but what she's actually supposed to play on, which is the playset, when we put her on the playset, she, she wasn't feeling it. We've only had it for, well, we only had it built for about three or four days. And we're slowly incorporating ourselves on it so that she can know how to use it and that's the time when she actually will use it is if we are playing on it as well and that's just fine so hopefully when she gets a little bit older she'll love to play on it so if you do have older children i'm sure that this toy they're going to love it because my 10 month old she's starting to like it but maybe we may have it might have been the better if we would have waited a little bit but she plays with it. Also, we got about the Little Climber and the Little Rocker. Right now, they're both on sale for $575. Yes, it's a lot of money. But this is a toy that I do believe will last for a long time because wherever we move to and when we add more children to our family, I'm sure that they all will love playing on it because it just, it just looks like a whole lot of fun. And it's the perfect size for my 10 month old, but also for older children. I have a seven year old nephew. He hasn't played on it yet, but I'm sure that if I let him, he would play on it and have a ball. <laughs> it just, everything about it is quality. And when you spend that type of money on a toy, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for quality, longevity, and if your baby is going to like it. So right now I'm going to say that our baby does not like it, but <laughs> She is definitely, I think it'll grow on her. I hope that it'll grow on her because we paid a pretty penny for this. <laughs> so if you are somebody who is thinking about getting a Lillian River playset, I will give it a thumbs up. I would definitely say that you should get it. You should try it out. And I don't know their policies on returns, but I'm sure they'll take it back because 
it's just really nice. And if you do, if you're looking at it and you're asking somebody for it as a gift for your child, this is the perfect gift, especially for younger children. And it's cold outside right now, so you probably don't want to go outside to the playset. So bringing a playset inside of your home is perfect. Also, they also sell um, play mats. Kwame got, I think he got three of them. He just ordered two more because we kind of need a wider area for our baby because she just like falling off that thing. But the play sets, the play mats are pretty thick and they're bouncy. And um, if you have any of those like ABC letters, we also have those on the floor, but they don't seem like they would um, protect her as much as the mats that they sell. So the Lillian River play set, the play mat, the play rocker, or the little rocker, all of it is really amazing. And I really, I highly recommend it for all the kids. For 10 month olds, the jewelry is still out on that, but it looks so beautiful, so aesthetically pleasing, and I love it. That is all for this video. I probably will be doing more of these just to let you know um, if Kwame decides to bring home some more very expensive toys. I'm gonna let you know if you should buy it or you shouldn't buy it. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in our next video. Peace.